Brooklyn Independent Television. The season may have just begun, but already Coney Island is getting rave reviews. And some visitors are making their way to Brooklyn's playground by the sea for the very first time. But they're experiencing new chills and spills, as our Sherry Carabin found out when she visited. This is going to be the most exciting season in Coney Island in a generation or two. Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz is talking about the continuing changes and additions at the People's Playground. The new season only got underway on Memorial Day weekend. And though Coney may not look different at first, there are quite a few new thrills to be had. The biggest attraction this year, Luna Park, complete with a whole lot of new rides for the kids and a few for the adults. I think it's really good. I think it's awesome. Everybody should come here. First time ever to Coney Island, and it's been great so far. Ever? Ever. Yeah, we'd heard about the new Luna Park thing through advertising and stuff and decided to give it a whirl, and uh, it's been great. They've really improved the park, and you know, the rides are scary and amazing. Luna Park is the first new amusement park to open in Coney Island in nearly 50 years. The 3.1-acre park features 19 traditional and cutting-edge rides, including the Tickler. My favorite ride was um, um, the um, Tickler. It sure looked fun, and I love roller coasters, so I decided to give it a whirl. The city invested more than $6 million to support the opening of the new park. In addition, Central Amusement International will invest nearly $30 million over the next two summers to open and operate Luna Park and the Scream Zone, the second phase of the park's development, which will add four more rides. The park is also expected to create 330 jobs by 2011. The new park's pretty cool, Luna Park. It's, um, it's nice. It's bringing up a good crowd over here. so. Business has been good. While the new attractions may be getting all the attention, old favorites like the Cyclone and Dino's Wonder Wheel are also drawing crowds. What I like most about the new environment is more police officers than before. So it seems like you can have a great and a safe time too. Luna Park is part of the city's Coney Island revitalization plan, which aims to preserve and grow the historic amusement area while creating a mixed-use neighborhood with retail options and nearly 5,000 units of housing, including 900 income-targeted units. The city is also investing more than $150 million toward Phase 1 infrastructure improvements including upgrading underground infrastructure and rebuilding large sections of the boardwalk. New York City and the region needs a, a, a real historic uh, amusement area that's affordable, that's accessible, uh, uh, that, that really brings in folks of every, every income level and every race and creed and nationality, exactly reflective of what Brooklyn and New York is. And uh, that's what Coney Island will always be. As the development continues, some may be wondering what's happened to the property owned by Thor Equities. Well, in 2009, owner Joseph Sitt sold 6.9 acres of his land to the city for just over $95 million. In February of 2010, Central Amusement International announced that it would lease 6.2 acres of this property for 10 years to build and operate Luna Park. In addition, SIT has pledged about $10 million to help improve the People's Playground, including removing some dilapidated structures from his property along Surf Avenue this year, with the goal of adding retail games and other activities in time for opening day in the summer of 2011. It is his property. He does hope to uh, uh, have a retail uh, in the days ahead and a hotel. And by the way, I support the hotel as long as it's not residential that it's a hotel for visitors that stay, uh, you know, for a couple days, week or whatever. Uh, and uh, so we'll have to, we're monitoring it. And uh, he says he loves Coney Island. He lives uh, not terribly far from there. And I always take a person at their word. So 
that's, we'll see how it goes. It's a work in progress. Reporting from Coney Island, this is Sherry Carabin for Brooklyn Review. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.